There's someone peeking in the window, y'all. What are you doing? Filling the fresh tank one third full. Are we honorary camp host? No. <laughs> I see the camp host sign behind your head. No. Well, why is there a camp host sign on our uh, meter? Wishful thinking. <laughs> Yeah, we're newbies and they automatically just throw us in the fire and say, y'all go ahead and be some camp host. All right, everybody's free. <laughs> <laughs> That's my policy. We have a washer and a dryer. The washer's on this side. So when I go to use it, I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> and the dryer's on this side. All right. So we just moved in, so I'm going to have to figure out how to take the straps off and leave the straps where it doesn't um, get lost or fall behind the washer. And I'm not sure how big of a load is going to go in this washer. We haven't washed clothes since when? It's been more than a week, maybe like a week and a half. Okay, so let me see how to do this. It's not the most convenient, but... <laughs> But, um, it's better than going to the laundry mat. Okay, where do you want me to put this cord, Matthew? Like, drape it over the side over here? Yeah, that sounds good. Why does it already have moisture in it? Why well, is the door already? I don't want to get the clothes wet. Well, don't open it all the way. They probably tested it. Oh uh, yeah, we need to start leaving this open when we're not traveling. Yeah, just a crack. So this is how we do laundry in the Jones, not Jones house, the Jones RV. I'm just trans, I get to sit down. Have you ever got to sit down to do laundry? And I just transfer one load from the washer to the dryer. Okay, and then I find my little dryer sheet. Which I need a basket, by the way. Yeah. And the dryer starts pretty easily. Let's see. Auto dry. There's the dryer. So now I'm gonna put, try to fit all these clothes that are left in the washer. And show me those over there by the door. So Matthew's fixing to replace a section of the hose because he stepped on it and squished it. And I just don't trust it anymore since I squished it. Who else has problems getting these unhooked? Is there a trick? So that's an idea. We could leave the 20 foot... No. They're each yeah. 10... Okay, the 20 foot hooked up for the back of the RV and then our little 10 foot can stay by itself so if we get to a site and you're like well all I need is 10 feet then use that one if you think you need 20 then go to the back and get the 20. I like that idea. Hello. So what's one of the dangers of having slides? Being naturally clumsy like me. So I keep hitting my head on this thing. And I know everybody says, put a pool noodle on it, but I'm forgetful. So if I put a pool noodle on it, what's going to happen? The slide's going to go in, and the pool noodle's going to be here, and something bad's going to happen to the slide. It might, I don't know, go off track or something. I don't want that to happen. So then I back up, hit my head on the thing. As I'm opening this one right here, and there's a sharp metal thing right here. <coughs> 
So then if you focus in on my eye, you can see in a couple of places I nicked it with this. I went backwards, hit my head, went forwards, hit my eye, narrowly missing my eyeball. Grateful to God that didn't happen. So it stinks being a class. So what is the acronym? Our PSA announcement? Is that it? Public service announcement. Yeah. So our it. PSA for this is number one, no I did not punch him in case he gets a black eye. <laughs> Um, number two, just be very, very careful around these things. I mean, I guess we could add it to the checklist if we added a pool noodle, but they don't look very attractive either when you put them on there. So, and he doesn't have much room to back up because the <coughs> sewer is like right here. So, anyways, I told him everybody does it probably at least once or twice when they first get an RV and you just have to learn to... It's like a learned behavior of how to avoid the slides. <laughs> okay, we're headed on I-75 North, and there's our makeshift GP Garmin uh, RV GPS system. We have to find a better place to mount it, but that's where it is right now. And it's our first time filming on the interstate. And there's a rest stop coming up, which I think we're gonna stop at. It's got 15 spaces, so we can reorganize a little bit. So, how are you feeling towing on the interstate? The truck can definitely handle it. The road is a little bit bouncy and potholing, so I gotta make sure to stay in my lane. But overall, praise God, I think it's going pretty well. And we are literally driving to paradise. We're headed to Paradise Oaks RV Resort in Bushnell, Florida. In one and three quarter miles, take exit 314 on the right to State Route 48. Arriving at Paradise Oaks RV Resort, on the left. So you pull in this lane where that lady's walking. Yep. Pull all the way up so I can give other people a chance. Guest check in, yay! He gives tours of this place? I guess. Oh, that's nice. So we're going to do a lot of walking here. That's fine. I love the temperature already. We're not like burning up. I know. Tired of doing that. They're on the road still. And this is normally pretty expensive, but if you had the money, I would stay here. Yeah. This is nice. Okay, so he's saying we're going to have to make a right. And there's the trash right there. He's on that old coop to get his truck and move. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. <laughs> you have a plate for the onions when they're done? I do not have a plate yet, no. Uh, a paper plate on top of one of our plastic ones. 
Here, you can bring this in and put it away. Okay. Yep, this is heating up. Yeah. This is heating up. I'll take the onions off in a minute and come get the burgers. I only put down some oil because this is still new and I want it to, um, you know, work, not stick. So when I go in there, you just pick the basket up and shake it? You really just kind of want to flip them around. You could even use those tongs if you want to. Too much, just cooks really fast. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. 